right, my name's uh, Dave Sears. I'm one of the uh, two zoo directors of Turbury Woods. I never knew this, this place existed until I found it off the internet. And um, I've been here ever since. Shaggy, Shaggy come on. Shaggy. Keep your arm out as far as you can. Shaggy. Shaggy. He might think he was going to eat you instead. Come on, put your arm out as far as you can. There you go. Well done. I think she deserves a round of applause for that, doesn't she? Yeah, well done, lovey. Turbury Woods, it's, it's in a wooded area. It's so peaceful, it's quiet. It's so relaxing. We've got picnic tables. That they can bring the kids, have a picnic. We do a flying display every day at 2 o'clock, weather permitting. We're going to be doing one today, and we're going to be flying 14, 15 birds mainly for the exercise for the birds. It's not a falconry centre. We're not doing it purposely as a display. We're exercising the birds, but the public are more than welcome to come down and watch. We will tell them about the birds, give them some knowledge of the birds, the habitats, the, uh, what they might prey on, where they're from. But it's just a beautiful setting, and it's ideal for an afternoon. And we, we only charge a, a small admission but every penny that goes into it, nobody gets paid here. We're all volunteers, and every penny that's raised goes towards food and the veterinary bills. Probably the thing that sticks out in my mind was probably the first rescue I ever did. That's where you get your buzz. Um, and it was a kestrel that was handed in to a veterinary uh, surgery in Fleetwood. And um, it had obviously been in a RTA. We went, or, or I went along, brought it back here. We nursed it for a couple of days. And then I got the honour of releasing it back into the wild. That was the first rescue I ever did, the first release I did, and it was. It really, it really, really gets you buzzing. That's the main purpose of it all. That's the, the highlight of being here. A lot of youngsters nowadays think it's a, a bit of an esteem and a big thing. Instead of having a pit bull terrier, they have a Harris hawk, and they tend to think I'm big annoyed. But unfortunately, they don't know how to treat the bird or train it. Again. I don't blame the youngsters, I blame the breeders who, who are willing to sell birds to anybody without experience. And many times I've been caught, up, caught a, a bird, found its keeper, and I'd hand it back over to a, a little chap who lives in a little house and who's got a little shed in his back garden and the birds handed back into terrible conditions. I think any rescue rehabilitation centre like this for birds of prey, owls, um, it, they need specialist care. It's not like a, a budgie or a, or a canary. They need specialist care. And the more centres like this, the more birds that can be rescued and put back into the wild. This is what we use when we're training birds of prey. The first, the first stage of training is teaching them to eat on the glove, and, and what we, that's called what we call the manning process. Um, when, when they're comfortable eating on the glove and they've got your trust, we, st we do, we start what we call small jumps in the aviary, which means in the aviary they feel safe, it's where it feels like they're at home. And if I just put him on here, I'll just show you. But this is just a precaution while the black kite is still flying about. This chap's scared of kestrels, believe it or not. There's a little kestrel when breeding season comes, it swoops down and scares him and chases him off.
people can come along, they pay for the uh, experience, we show them the falconers knot, we, we let them get near the birds, we let them fly the birds, we, we impart some, some knowledge uh, to them some people are looking to maybe get a bird in the future and it's it's a beginning it's it's a way of introducing them to the birds the way of handling them and the way of and the way of looking after them but it's always on a uh, on a one to one basis There's, it's not a group thing it's it's always one to one This is Skye, she's a female Harris Hawk, two year old, um, she's actually my bird, uh, she, she comes home with me, lives with me at home, she has her own aviary there, but I bring her here for the exercise, we fly her in the display, um, and uh, there's a, a competition between her and my wife as to who comes first. I just love being around the birds, flying the birds, looking after the welfare of the birds, making sure they're clean, they're looked after. It's, it all started with a, my wife bought me an experience day, flying eagles in Cheshire, and it just seemed to light a spark in me, and that spark's been burning ever since. Um, I just have a, a sheer passion for the birds.